Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Royal Lotus Born Children of Gaia's Expansion. We had another big blast whiteout today on the Schumann charts at an amplitude spike of 59 hertz. Mama Gaia is rising and all her children with her. Pachamama is transformed into the sole star galactic ship of the Universal Fleet of Light, Mothership 33. Mother Father God continue to inundate this realm with fifth dimensional energetics from the Great Central Sun through Solaris and deep into the crystal heart core of our Great Mother Earth. The grand arising and awakening is upon us. Green light go. We are in the cosmic storm as she sweeps the lands clear of all that is left of the old lower false vibrations of the nefarious nature. All that is left of the old limited systems are being resolved and transformed to resonate at the pulse of love, joy, and bliss. We have traversed through the ascension portal of the passage into the new golden age of eternal life. I am the seventh sun of the ninth wave of solar retribution. I came into this realm to serve the Holy Spirit. My mission is to transmit the highest gnosis to our ground crew earth angelic team of the 144 directly from the great mystery. We come to hold sacred space for the process of ascension into the light. You are stationed on a holy portal to anchor in the light into the dragon line grids and deep into the crystalline core of Pachamama. The Crow Nation came to me today to transmit the hidden codes of the new earth activations, and we transmit them into your 12-strand Christos DNA in this now. Feel into the frequency, the energy of the Holy Grail Union both within and without into the endlessness of the infinite multiverse. Gaia is with us to hold the light, keep the faith. The lines have been drawn for the new earth timeline, and we walk it now with peace and love in every step. The patterns of harmony and bliss have been placed in your palms and upon your crown. See the sacred codes, the talisman of eternal life, blazing in your heart flame, lighting up every cell, every star in your holographic universe. Cosmic consciousness is our birthright. All is in perfect order for the divine plan to unfold at goddess speed. We are in the quickening, the acceleration of the transformation of Terra Nova Gaia and all humanity. The cosmic winds of change are blowing through this realm to clear and cleanse the path for direct awakening in Buddha consciousness. All beings are born perfectly awakened Buddhas, but this pure awareness was converted to the three hells. Now as we release ourselves from these hellish states of existence to reach critical mass of Christ consciousness, which is Living in the love of the heart, we co-create the quantum leap into the new humans, homo luminous, beings of infinite light. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to stick around to the very end and please do us a favor and Share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. We're still integrating from the last few days, so your highest timeline might be settling tonight or tomorrow. You might be tested this week as we navigate these new templates in the Sacral Chakra, the seat of our Kundalini and Emotional Center. These tests are for you to navigate the emotional band, 4D. Notice any pain body being activated from old traumas of lack and survival and use any tool to shift, transmute, into a different pattern or thought form. 
attachments to 3D aspects are fading as we ground the rainbow aspects of Gaia's rebirth. So much love, Valerie. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Roberto Nunez. Energy moves fast and full of diamond light. Now through October is a high time for spiritual growth and psychic skills. Stay grounded and centered on your heart to stabilize the rise of light in your body. Lucid dreams, vivid dreams, deja vu are strong now. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Elena Adams. The Divine Feminine is here. The embodiment of creation and the beginning of the spiral of life. The Feminine is moving through as we enter the age of Aquarius. She carries water and washes away all that has been petrified and corrupted. Allow her grace and power to assist you in coming into your sovereignty. As we incorporate the masculine and feminine with us, we embody that of the divine, which is our origin. It is our homecoming, with deep love and remembrance of you, me, us, Alenura. And from Divine Brother of the Light Seraph Knight, we are going through what feels like a birth canal. Brothers and sisters, against all obstacles and challenges, we stand as equals. We are the pillars of light, wisdom holders and light keepers. As we transient through these current energetic shifts, know that we are loved divinely and love. Return within to gain further clarity on what is happening for you. The only love you require is encoded within. Keep surrendering to yourself and align with your heart and soul. Acknowledge the dark and light, for underneath you is light. We are shifting, our bodies are metamorphing, and this can be challenging at this stage of humanity's conscious evolution. Be kind to yourself as we integrate these downloads and upgrades to our physical and light bodies. Connect to your higher self, for within you have all the answers. We are one. 144,000. Always with love and blessings, Seraph Knight. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Ali Ray. Let it all be, beloveds, and most especially allow yourself to be. To truly be is to be in harmony within. This state of stillness and harmony is the space from which all healing, all clarity, and all that is resides. It is okay to lay down the burdens lay down the struggle, lay down the constant pushing and pulling, and to stop the incessant mind looping. In this precious moment, please, dear one, give yourself permission to stop everything. Now take a deep breath, place your hands on your heart, breathe. This is the miracle, you, just as you are. There is nothing that needs changing. You need no improvement. You don't require any teachings, any classes, any degrees, any certifications, any kundalini experiences. Wherever you are and whomever you are right now is perfect. You are a living miracle. Please, precious heart, do not let another moment pass without you stopping to feel the miracle you are. You are enough, just as you are. You are love, and absolutely everything is unfolding precisely for you, and the highest good for you and all. So let yourself take a sacred pause to truly feel appreciation for all you are. This moment is here waiting for the miraculous presence of your being. Allow yourself to receive this gift, the gift of you. I so love and celebrate you. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Michael Love, the Earth Alliance, another 40 hertz gamma light wave impacts the surface. Pleiadian light forces, space weather intel, 629, 2022. Great one. Earth has been blasted for two weeks straight by one high vibrational light wave after another, and one is in progress now. A planetary level DNA activation is underway as the star seeds of Earth work to integrate this powerful light into the cells of their bodies. The constant barrage of cosmic light over the last two weeks has been quite a challenge to take into the layered body system, and many have said it is just about too much. 
we say we fully understand. It is the hardest mission that was ever deployed in this universe. We give you great honor for your bravery and resolve. You are an elite being of light that came to earth for this one purpose, to receive and hold the light in your body on behalf of all humanity until they could hold the light for themselves. You are indeed the light of this world. More and more high-frequency cosmic light is streaming into earth as we move forward, and it's triggering an incredible evolution of consciousness right before our eyes. Hang in there and don't forget to breathe. Let us know what ascension symptoms you may be experiencing at this time. Godspeed from 5dearthproject.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Amira Atlantis. If you are feeling a type of pregnant pause in the universe today, it's because Neptune is stationed retrograde in Pisces. It's a good moment to pause and reflect with spirit. Thoughts from the Mer world. Options are good. When we play in the quantum field and allow the universe to bring us options, we are actually fine-tuning what we really want. Knowing what we want usually begins with what knowing what we don't want. 1111 coming in. Every no brings us closer to a yes. By refining our requests to the cosmic ordering service with clarity and alignment. So if the right person, situation, etc. has not shown up yet, but you are being offered simulations, emulations, or options, it is God's way of helping you to stop settling and await what is truly your most divine partnership or life change. The more we have joy and gratitude for the experiences that vibrate towards us, the universe can respond with options that are a closer vibrational match to that which we truly desire. And one day, boom, co-creating is fun discovering what is possible and using our superpowers to refine our desires and land the most ideal option is part of becoming a multi-dimensional energy shifter. We are currently in a void space where the silence and stillness is offering us both the yang of active expression, requesting, and the yin of trusting and receiving. Paradoxically, is the new reality. Get used to it and play in the quantum field. We are preparing to receive the best shift ever. Amera Atlantis, Star of the Sea, from AmeraAtlantis.com And today from Isis Channelings, a strong desire and guidance to go within with these new moon energies, to fully anchor into this embodiment, ground, balance, and center, as an unseen storm seems to be brewing around us. Destructive creation. Even though storms can be destructive, they bring cleansing and an opportunity to build a new and stronger and more suitable ways. Also the guidance to do you, to stay courageous and have faith in the seeds you have planted. And light and grace and joy be the change you want to see. sa ke na From IsisChannelings.wordpress.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Kwana Makela. Energy Report June 29th, Cosmic Winds. Explanation, Time for the Better, Bigger Changes, July 4th. Note, Before I didn't share as much about Cosmic Winds, this is an unplanned energy report, but at the same time, it's also quantum timing. This report contains their vibrations, frequencies, they deserve to be known. 29th of June, Cosmic Winds are circulating in their cosmic speed and purifying our planetary field. During the month of June and recently releasing energy, debris, garbage from the collective mental, emotional bodies plus outdated cycle energies. Every time when there are present cosmic winds, gigantic vortexes, it means massive cleansing work. Cosmic winds themselves are programmed by source to absorb transform, destroy till 80 to 95% energy substance, debris, negative charge, mental emotional releases, outdated energies from 3D related cycles, lunar distortions that are streaming into the planetary field, collective emotional body per lunar phases during the last two years, also the pitch energy from the corrupt timeline. The purpose of these cosmic winds is to empty the space on the planet for the next influxes of the solar light. 
great central sun, incoming energies, crystal frequencies, other vital source emanations, ensuring the pace of ascension and the support for the new earth grid. Cosmic winds are neutral in their nature. They are fulfilling their task and leaving the earth until the next time. Their purpose and help is priceless and admirable for us and our beloved planet. Similar to the physical winds, they are leaving after themselves a fresh environment or surrounding for the changes. Empty space in the planetary field means a space for the new, starting with incoming energies and ending with your individual level. I want to add that these cosmic winds are conscious or have a consciousness. Even they are not under the category of light beings like, for example, angels, star races, etc. They are at levels higher than simple created light programs. Being in the close proximity to them, no matter their higher levels, they are emanating calm neutrality and staying focused on finding the debris. They will never harm any living being. These huge giants are source love expression. In some degree, consciously or unconsciously, humanity perceives the presence of these cosmic winds. It can express itself through your inner knowing that changes must take place, or that it is the right moment for something new. There is no specific list of the physical, mental, or emotional responses, reactions, except a sense that something is about to change. Positivity, good wind under your personal spirit wings plus how it feels for us. There is appearing an empty space field, which is for us to make our moves, steps, decisions, divinely. The orchestrated changes period at the end of June and beginning of July. A fresher transition to the higher quality of July energy. May there be bigger, better changes for us all. Make your dreams come true right now. Do not hesitate anymore. Note, forth comes. This date of July 4th in relation with the United States. I will definitely write about it in a case of more information. And as a significant linear date due to the energies. I am working only with real-time data without any speculations, predictions, etc. Sometimes in a quantum field is seen specific linear dates or months like pre-given coordinates or information, sometimes just simply one or another. Only when linearly the date month is here, then the information unfolds. Because one, with ascension, linear time is no longer solid primary time, one line, where events are placed on and will play out exactly the same. Two, big roles in following global events are all actions humanity is taking before, and every now it changes reality, plus Source God. I am really looking forward to the 4th of July. Thank you to all of you, Kwana Michaela. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Philippe Francois. This is right now, this is really happening right now. After the lighting of the heart comes the radiation of the inner sun, which is the point of radiance of the Source in this world, the thymus. And also starting our ascension vehicle, La Merkaba. This moment is marked by the movement of the Merkaba in the heart center of our body. It starts to move in the heart when it is ready. It is a golden ball of light in which consciousness can translate into its body of light. This is the ascension. Ascension can occur on an individual level or it can occur in a group or it will occur as part of the collective experience. The shock of humanity at the end of this 3D scene will be a turn on. We are entering a global collective ignition phase, which won't leave any doubt about what's going on. The shock of humanity will be the revelation of the light in all its components in this humanity. This shock will go far beyond simple sensory perceptions. It will be a shock on all levels, emotional, psychological, energetic, biological, cellular. This shock will be powerful and profound as it touches on the foundations of life itself. It is also the life of the soul and its thought forms that impact the body. And fear is a powerful virus. This is the ignition phase. A crazy wind that will be perfectly visible on the planet right before the skimming phase. Then comes the transition phase from one world to another. 
To finish will be the complete reconnection phase of the transmuted Earth with the great central sun, Alcyon. It will be a celebration of reunions on all walks of life. The elements come to show us that it is not us who lead this life, but it is the life that leads the life, the unified life, the life restored to beauty, the life returned to the worlds of the spirit, the soul that in its journey is no longer turned to the person and matter and therefore turns to the spirit that lives and ignition. It then shines of light and embraces living the fires of the spirit. The weddings of light and or celestial wedding or mystical marriage a reconnection with source existing at varying degrees that have been called samadhi just like in the closure of the falsified matrix a progressive ignition linked to the earth's fire the inner sun or wave of life is underway ignition of the earth countries continents oceans and souls allowing the transmutation of consciousness to this new earth called inner earth this passage will be lived more or less intensely since the resistance arising from the lockdown has deprived this world of light the definitive lighting of the earth's crystal core from sirius will fertilize the oceans and seas by fire from heaven volcanoes lighting is growing the earth is shaking more and more it shakes its coat to live in the ascension all the planets in the solar system that have been separated disassociated from the source are experiencing ignition an update on the return of the spirit fires waters of manifestation of the white light awakening and igniting let's live in the unlimited they are markers linked to the passage the passage goes through fire it's the stamp on the passport the pass fire fire light of abandonment is here We'll then adapt our biology to lead us or as we are expected it is the transition to the forms of life that do not belong to this world or to the formless or towards the absolute obviously being forged in the fires of transcendence is beyond words it's a personal mystical alchemical adventure baptisms of fire are lightings awakenings updates leading to our eternity and lighting the fires of love it is also the turning on of our light of the light of the being in this world so that it participates in the ascension standing at the edge of the worlds in that place that is not a place or locatable or we are there without being there or we are even more and more together to be there in this virgin space of purity a new world that is palpable and alive there are the people the christ destiny perfectly visible Come and follow me. I am the way, the truth, the life. Between two worlds, standing right there, at the edge of the ultimate presence, like the ultimate absence, and while there without moving you see, witnessing, one of those worlds that moves away from you, the world of fear, separation, illusion, and the world of light that comes close to you. You just have to be careful or you carry your conscience and be aware of what you feed, maintain, relay, that is life or the reflection of life, the matrix. That's also the passage, you just have to stand here, in the abode of supreme peace, letting the light do all. There is nothing to do, just surrender and live what is given to live. Ignition is an intermediate period related to the transition and the return of the entire solar system to the worlds of unity, a presence. And from divine sister of the light Ines Guerrero, Ua e ni o ka. Frequency patterns, higher light attunements, atom seed consciousness, aquamarine ray, frequency infusions, sha ra na, partial transmission through the e na e, in no linear time, quantum field, topic home. A quarry that is an inner heart wish in order to attain a sense of complete freedom perceived through fields of density is a processing of a higher light attunements that predispose one to a further deepened integration of monadic aspects of soul cell that is all in one the same, one expression of source consciousness upon Gaia fields and beyond in a multitude of expressed formats and settings 
So if a dear one attunes to an inner sensing where all is, one is presented a light format that is God's source consciousness of one, of a totality that each and all are beyond a form perceived through earth's cell. When one quarries within where is home, one opens a gateway that allows one's families of light to assist on an unfolding of an inner sensing of all that you are, meaning all light expressions of yourself, oneself. Locating through a field of density where home sensed is to a dear one soul unravels an inner desire to transcend form in an awareness state of being within fields of terra. Terra fields of blessed realities that unfurl peace amongst all beings of expressed format navigating through reality of form and no form. Unformed states of etheric realms of divine bliss floating within a sense of oneness as one may define through earthly concepts. Achieving a state of unconscious feelings of the one limitless that you express of the one within the multi-sensed expressions that you are. Unified detachments of dimensional inter-expressed possibilities where one taps within a filament of all that is, aligning with God consciousness to attune to a state that is in congruence with one's inner heart wishes or soul expression through a sense of will, free will. This free will is nonetheless a divine alignment where you are the one choosing your destination and lack of better terminology and earth wording. As a desire to be in fields of beyond, one sets a moving extra data unified with multidimensional expressions, where sets in motion a configuration that deconfigures a setting that may be perceived as rigidity through density fields or of sensing, capable of higher settings of attuning to divine fields through a human format or physical expression, one is capable of tapping within the field of no data. A field of no data here expressed pertains to a field where no matter, being this no matter an expression that goes beyond a translation and format through physical wording. Dear ones, etheric may refer to something similar. You are beyond that. A fluidity that embraces all that is composed of cellular matter and atomic structures and all forms they can't be expressed through fields of density or dimensional perception. You exist beyond that, beloveds, magnificent forms of light and no form, embracing one, embracing all, asking for a filament of expression, and the topic exposed includes setting through conscious intent an inner alignment with all that is, all that you are. I am pure expression of one, God consciousness, merged with source and source I am one. Choosing a trajectory upon transition is of no agreement with a limitless field of possibilities where you exist beyond expression, as one detached from an expectation that is an intensity of misaligned fields of all that you are. One senses within that where home is, is already. Just through a conscious setting and desire through format may be difficult in the perception of where, as you are a multitude of divine expressions. Understand that you are within the field of all possibilities, that to manifest, metaphorically, all that you are, beyond and through, divine expressions of one, an infinite honor, love, and gratitude to each dear heart and embodiment upon beloved Gaia. We greet you in joy. We are sha ra -na, through e -na -e, your team of light always within. This is not a channeling, but a frequency translation. Who is Sharana? Sharana may be perceived as my higher consciousness, or what some may address as higher self or oversoul. The process of transmission is done by conscious intent and through a process of automatic writing. Much love and blessings to all. I smile. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica. Embrace the light world around you. As we expand our light, integrate the expansion points of higher awareness. See the vision of a perfectly aligned harmonic world, aligned to the life cycle of every being, the true energetics, harmonics of light. I ask you to hold this light in your light field. Feel the expanded heart compassion for every person in our world, 
For the higher consciousness of us and our ability to resonate light at a higher quantum level is expanding. Simply vibrate this light in your light field, dear one. Be the light portal for humanity. Immerse in a higher light point of view is simply the task of an accelerated, advanced light being currently in our world. Sending love to the way showers as we walk the streets of light. With love for the journey, the Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, 144, God Code The season of soul searching is completing. Sudden epiphanies are helping you comprehend your emotions, love, and relationships in general. The connection to your higher self and wisdom are expanding your intuition, understanding, and providing clear direction. This great reveal is part of your graduation out of the 3D matrix. With knowledge you can claim back your power and whatever you've given away due to illusions. Choices are definitive. Suddenly you know exactly what to do and can quickly make any necessary changes. Ascension into the bridal chamber has begun. Prepare yourself for this next phase of inner and outer union. Isaiah 2620 Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as if were for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. 21. For behold, the Lord cometh out of this place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood, and shall no more cover her slain. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you, Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from 13 Moon Peace Time, Cosmic History Quote for Moon 13, Day 3. Just as matter reaches a certain point within the binary unfoldment, becoming a crystal, so life reaches a critical point with the emergence of mind as a medium of evolving intelligence. And today from the Zolkin Times, Keen 42, White Electric Wind. The number three is called electric and its keywords are activate, bond, and service. The Yellow Sun Wave Spell is a 13-day journey of discovery and a time when long-awaited answers finally come. The third step of any wave spell is about activating the process. It really adds electrical energy to whatever day it is combined with. Day one is about setting the goal and purpose Day two, we remove the things in our way, and on day three, we push the button and take off. Once you get used to living the Zolkin one wave spell at a time, you observe how the energy of the numbers creates a flow. If you look at the graphic for today, you'll see how the wave spell is depicted. The shape is representative of the energy and how it moves. It is a wave spell. Today is white wind, which represents communication, breath, and spirit. These days are always great for writing letters or poetry, for speaking in public, for having that conversation you have been putting off, for saying sorry too. One of the key words associated with white wind is spirit, so don't forget it is a great day to send or receive a message from the universe. As it is an electric day, expect your voice to be amplified. You can activate communication today, and so your message has a lot of power. Be careful what you say. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, White Electric Wind, 3 Eek, Keen 42, 29th of June, 2022, Activating Divine Service, 29 6, 2022, equal 11 6, 6, equal 11 12, equal 2 3, equal 5, Day Codes, 29 Spiritual Tests, Initiation, 11 Portal Gate, Polarity, Illumination, 2, Twins, Partners, Cooperation, Duality, 5, Freedom, Change, Liberation, Transformation, Month, Year Codes, 6, Heaven, Christ, Family, Romance, Fertility, 12, Acquiring Strength, Wisdom, 3, Holy Triad, Joy, Creativity, Divine, 20, The Awakening, Clear Vision, 22, Architect of Peace, Master Builder, Keen 42 equals 6. Heaven, Christ, Family, Harmony. A powerful spirit doorway is open today for very clear divine guidance to implement the divine plan for humanity. 
Day three in the yellow sun wave spell of illuminating our highest evolutionary path to reclaim our soul power and full sovereignty. Today we activate our capacity to shine by communicating the spirit messages that are felt through our connection with others. This is the phase where disparate elements are brought together, unified in their quest to serve the world. Note the electric wind coupled with the yellow sun make for a potent electromagnetic force driven to accelerate your ascension through devotion to spirit and the divine plan on earth. This is rocket-fueled acceleration today. Tone of creation. Electric is tone number three in the tone of creation. It is the first of the three emotional realm tones. Its focus is being of service to others through the action of bonding. That is coming together with others to co-create and be of service. Electric energy provides the ignition or spark for your manifestation. It is a current that needs to keep moving and flowing, transmitting energy. It also adds power to anything you are creating today, an extra electrical boost to draw upon. The power of three is derived from two units merging and creating the third, more powerful entity. This action duplicates the essence of bonding and service that the electric tone provides. Today beckons you to become emotionally mature, together with your divine counterpart, Offer your united energies to be of service to all. Expand your focus from bonding with one to the joy of bonding with all. The electric tone coupled with the white wind is a very potent force to receive clear guidance for your divine service mission. We are in the concluding days of the year of the electric seed, and so the electric energy is doubled today and going out with a bang. Tune in for the powerful messages from Spirit today. Today we are questioning how we can activate our electrical power to send waves of pure charged energy to uplift and energize others through divine service. Surrender your little human to the will of the divine and elevate your consciousness to that of a divine human. In this state you can leave a powerful legacy on our planet and influence the lives of a greater number of people. All great rewards for life well lived and service to the divine, the power that unites us all as one global human family. Today's question is, am I willing to surrender my life purpose to spirit, connecting with others to creatively express the will of the divine? Divine blessings for the full expression of your electrical power through active divine service. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 42, White Electric Wind. The mantra the code for today is, I activate in order to communicate. Bonding breath. I seal the input of spirit. With the electric tone of service, I am guided by the power of death. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your visions, your dreams, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Myra Sheikh, for your pledge and support on Patreon. And welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to help support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com or if you'd like to make a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal account at eaglelovedcondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with a powerful decree from Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurelia. Decree for Earth and her nations. 
In the full power and authority of my God presence I am, I humbly come to the throne of grace to invoke into the physical plane of earth the most intensified dispensation and activity of God's will ever manifested in the history of time. We ask the legions of light serving this planet to absorb this divine essence into every fiber of their beings and project it into the heart flame and conscious mind of every man, woman, and child on this planet, especially every person associated with all governments of our planet in any way, shape, or form. Blaze the cosmic flame of God's will through each soul evolving here and clear away all destructive activities that might be directed against any of God's children and the light for which we stand. Seal all government positions in the radiance of God's will. Let the illumination flame reveal the divine purpose and plan for each office and individual, and give to each person the spiritual courage to fulfill that plan perfectly. Let the will of God be manifest in, through, and around all governments of the world now and forever. Let the eternal victorious light of God illumine and lead the way for every soul evolving everywhere on the planet. We consciously accept this manifest now in full power according to God's holy will and purposes. And so it is, beloved, I am. From the Seven Sacred Flames by Aurelia. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed transition as we step over the threshold from the powerful month of June into the sacred month of July and into the galactic portal gateway of the 7-7 portal on the 7th of July. 41-41 coming in, 5-5 five, five portal, 5th dimensional energies coming in. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.